So we're talking about fear. What are you afraid of and why are you afraid? The onslaught of fear is visible everywhere. Isaiah 41 verse 9. The Lord says, I told you, you are my servant. I've chosen you and not rejected you. Don't be afraid for I am with you. Fear is a cancer in your life. It's a tumultuous time. And the problem is additionally that the media, the entertainment, and business are complicit with the attack of fear upon us. Shows like Fear Factor. Everybody, everybody, anybody ever watch Fear Factor? Yeah. I just don't want to be on the show. Fear is normally established by a couple of ways. One is traumatic events. My fear of heights comes from the fact that I fell off a roof when I was a kid. Frisbee went up on the roof. I climbed up the roof. The next thing you know, I'm in the bushes. Maybe you saw the movie Jaws in 1975 and you live in fear of the ocean. Every time I swim at the beach, I'm looking for sharks. If you hang around with fearful people, it will have an impact on you. If your family raises you and they are fear of, have a fear of specific animals, you'll probably have that fear of those animals too. If you're raised with your mom and she has a fear of rats and roaches, then you're probably going to have a fear of rats and roaches too. This leads us to being around people, leads us to the, what I want to discuss next. And let's turn to Peter, uh, 1 Peter 5 while we're talking. We're going to talk about the culture of fear. We live in a culture of fear, surrounded by people who are afraid, in circumstances that are trying to make us afraid. Fear is a part of modern warfare. And it's been that way for a long time with other countries, but it's only been that way here since 2001. The work and attack of fear is everywhere. And the problem is that you can't participate and cooperate with it and control or maintain the level at which you start. It's impossible. It always consumes you. All of sin is like this if you, if you didn't. What the enemy wants to do with regards to fear is that he's looking to exploit it. He wants to exploit you. He wants to exploit trauma in your life. He wants to exploit woundedness in your life. He wants to exploit, exploit injuries in your life, like the man in Boston who lost both his legs below the knee. The enemy would like to exploit that. I want you to understand for a reason, because it's time to break free. And it's time to walk in fear. Perfect love casts out all fear, right? The way that we're free from fear is that we come to know the love of God. So every area in my life where I'm afraid, there's a need for the revelation of the love of God. If you want to live free from fear, If you want your family to be free from fear's grip, if you want to be a source of strength to others, if you want to be a source of freedom to others, then I invite you to stand with me.